If you're still opening After Effects for every simple edit, this video is going to change your life. These few Premiere plugins make things possible that you always thought could only be done in After Effects, right here inside Premiere Pro with just a few clicks. These are the same plugins pro editors use every day to save hours of time. And best of all, many of them are completely free. So let's jump straight into the best ones. No time wasted. All right, let's go. Plugin 1, Arrow, lets you copy images, whether from the web or a frame inside Premiere, and paste them directly into your Premiere timeline. As you can see, the plugin has four simple buttons. One stores a still frame into your clipboard so you can paste it anywhere, and the other three paste whatever is in your clipboard into Premiere in different ways. This is essential because it removes the entire process of manually saving an image into a folder and then dragging it into Premiere. Plugin 2, Portal. This plugin saves hours in all your editing projects. Portal keeps your most used files just one click away. Instead of digging through folders, you pin your favorite items, music, sound effects, graphics, anything, directly inside Premiere. And when you open a folder inside Portal, it opens it in Finder so you can access your needed files in seconds. Perfect for projects where you repeatedly use the same assets. Plugin 3, Smoothify which makes creating easing for keyframes incredibly simple. Instead of fighting with Premiere's built-in graph editor to get smooth motion between keyframes, you can just use this plugin. You place the playhead between two keyframes, draw a curve on a graph where the x-axis is time and the y-axis is the value you're animating, then apply that curve to any property with start and end keyframes. Watch how it instantly adds beautiful acceleration and deceleration to your animation with a single click. Plugin 4, Premiere Composer. This gives you a library of ready-to-use transitions, effects, and animated graphics inside Premiere. You also get a library for your own MOGRTs. For example, I created this highlight MOGRT and can drag it straight from Premiere Composer into the timeline. The free version already includes a solid starter pack with animations, transitions, elements, sound effects, and the user library. If you want more, there's a paid version with a massive asset library. Plugin 5, Plume Pack. This is basically Premiere's project manager, but better. Instead of creating a messy new project filled with unused media, Plume Pack cleans your project by removing unused items while keeping your folder and bin structure intact. It packs your project neatly so others can understand it instantly. Plugin 6 Film Impact. This used to require a paid subscription, but now it's built directly into Premiere, which is amazing. You get access to nearly 100 transitions and effects, circular wipes, 3D spins, light leaks, and tons more without paying anything extra. All effects are GPU accelerated and have intuitive controls far beyond Premiere's default transitions. These were the free plugins I recommend. Before moving on to the paid plugins, if you need free Premiere tutorials, presets, transitions, text animations, and ready-to-use packs, I have two videos that both went viral and they include everything you need. Links are in the description. Don't miss them if you edit. And version three of the pack is on the way, so don't forget to subscribe. Now let's start the paid section, from cheapest to most expensive, and also split into one-time purchases and subscription plugins. Plugin seven, Grave Robber. Starting the one-time purchase plugins, we have Grave Robber a true one-click plugin. It solves a huge Premiere problem, unnesting clips. If you've ever nested clips for organization or effects, then later wanted to return them to the main timeline, you know the pain. Premiere has no unnest feature. Grave Robber fixes this with one click. Select your nested sequence, 
Click Dig It Up, and it places the original clips exactly where they should be. Otherwise, you'd have to open the nest, copy the clips, and manually paste them back. Plugin 8, Auto Motion Tracker for Objects, brings real motion tracking into Premiere without After Effects. You track an object using a mask, for example, a Gaussian blur, and then copy the tracking data. Click Get from Clipboard, then paste as transform on the layer you want to apply the tracking data to. Almost perfect tracking, without painful manual keyframing or bouncing between Premiere and After Effects. Plugin 9, Anchor, automatically adjusts the anchor point of clips. It can reposition based on the clip itself or a group of selected clips. If the clip has transparency, choosing alpha mode positions the anchor based only on visible areas. Instead of manually dragging the tiny anchor point and never getting it exactly right, this plugin handles it perfectly. Plugin 10, Looper Pro, automatically loops any keyframed animation in three styles, continuous, ping pong, offset. Instead of copying keyframes endlessly, just tell it to loop. Works on any keyframable property, position, scale, opacity, effects, anything. Plugin 11, Transmitter moves keyframes from Premiere's built-in motion controls into a transform effect for better control. You animate under motion, drag elements directly inside the program monitor, and once done, click Transmit to add a transform effect and migrate all keyframes. Plugin 12, Random Wiggler, basically the After Effects. Wiggle expression, but inside Premiere. Adds adjustable shape to position, scale, rotation, skew, opacity, individually or all at once. You set how intense you want the wiggle, from subtle handheld motion to aggressive motion graphics. You can also save presets. All right, that's all of them. Again, all download links are in the description below. If even one of these plugins improved your workflow, hit that like button so this video reaches more editors. And in the comments, tell me which plugin you use the most. And if you know any hidden gems or better alternatives, drop them down there too, I'll check them out and maybe feature them in the next video.